um, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to put the fear of death into you. Um, I'm a reincarnating uh, Hindu. But I just want to put the prophecy of mass unemployment in the Bible. If you want to know what a book's about, look at the beginning, look at the end, and then somewhere in the middle there's that pivotal point where the whole thing is explained. And so let's do that with the Bible. Now, begin. In the beginning, we're in the Garden of Eden, naked, walking around eating the fruit, and then we eat the fruit of the tree of life. Uh, I'm sorry, we eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is possibly the fly garrick, and uh, which is red and white, which is like a warning and instruction: do not eat me. And then, be because of this, um, we were, we were cursed to work. Uh, the gods com said, "It says because I, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou e eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. Uh, in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art." And unto dust thou shalt return, shalt thou return. And then the God said, He said, He has become, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Now, this is normally understood, obviously, as living forever. But there are three forevers. Our ancestors are forever. The future is forever. And now is forever. Now in the normal understanding of forever, it's the future forever. It's, it's the future is forever. There's always going to be a future. But this isn't that. This is living for now. The, the forever, the now forever. Forever now. Eternity, in the moment. In other words, not working, having a holiday, just living for now, which is what this is, is about. You know, the. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken, to make us work. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims, some sort of beings, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. In other words, you know, because we were ignorant and we didn't know anything, uh, and so we, like wild animals, we were kept away from the tree of life, from the Ganja, by a flaming sword. That was the curse of uh, slavery, the original sin, slavery, that we were made to work. We were taken out of the Garden of Eden, out of our natural condition. Or the condition in which we were created, thus obviously that fell into debate, and made to work. And this is about that, the fall of man into slavery, and the prohibition of cannabis, a flaming sword which turned every way, which now has turned into cannabis law, the war, war on drugs and all the rest of it. And then at the end, Revelations in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life so at the end the revelation the end there's the tree of life in other words cannabis the ganja growing everywhere in the midst of the street like in the cannabis farms in the middle of the street where you live and on either side of the river, which is like on both sides of the tracks, you know, the high and low society, is cannabis growing. And there should be no more curse. There was no more work ethic, no more slavery, no more, you know, compulsory work, meaningless work. Now, how is this going to happen? You know, how is this going to happen? Well, we look where that the solution arises in Daniel chapter 2. 
Now in Daniel chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, is troubled. He has a nightmare that terrifies him. And he wants someone to interpret the dream for him. But the, 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 the complication is <coughs> he wants someone to tell him what the dream is and interpret it. So Daniel comes out and says that the dream is that he saw a great image that had a head of gold, a breastplate of silver, a belly of bronze, legs of iron, feet of iron and clay, that was hit by this stone that was cut out without hands, that it hit this image and shattered it to bits. And Daniel said, what this means is that, you know, that if thou art a great king, and after you have gone, there will be another kingdom, which will be Persia, you know, which is where the Sufi religion comes from. The, you know, the good and evil, Zoroastrianism, uh, all um, fire worship, you know, in the heart, the religions of the heart, the, the spiritual. Then after the Persians came the Greeks, which was the reason, the law, the science, that sort of, uh, you know, <coughs> understanding, democracy, and the rest of it, argument, debate from the stomach of bronze and then there was the legs of iron which is Rome which marched all over and trampled everywhere and then after that was the feet of iron and clay which is our present society which is made of steel and concrete so we see the iron mixed with miry clay and we see a time when there's no tribal consciousness everybody is living separately in concrete boxes and he said in this time the stone cut out without hands this is a silicon chip will smite the image and and it will the stone cut out without hand shall grow and become a great mountain that fills the, the whole earth now the silicon chip has grown and become the internet the world wide web and then that is, starts off freeing the manual classes but then goes up and then liberates all the other professional classes from their control of their secrecy and their knowledge and the working of the system. So, like now, we've got the unemployment of the masses caused by this automation, which has now come to the surface. But you've now also got the collapse of the, 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 the corporate need for all those little corporate children, you know, the people only doing their jobs. Um, they're all going to be computer and uh, unemployed and that's going to give a majority rather than being able to put the the feral males the the free thinking the, the growing males rather than being able to imprison them for the ganja they and the unemployed corporates are going to be smoking the ganja and the ganja is going to be legalized because they can all ganja charges all cannabis charges are malicious prosecutions and we all know and the mass unemployment is here thanks to silicon chip so i wrote this one about the past which was equal opportunities factory fodder cannon fodder prison fodder 